like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. Drilling for oil is inherently dangerous. Workers exert astronomical pressure on the Earth's foundation, using enormous pressure and power to drill and extract the planet's natural resources deep within. Fires and explosions that occur on oil rigs are some of the most devastating types of offshore accidents that can ever happen. The injuries workers sustain from oil rig accidents result in long-term consequences for themselves and their families. Welcome to Xlist, where we list the craziest things in the world. In today's video, we're going to go over the 10 biggest offshore oil rig explosions and how dangerous it can be. Let's go! 10. Gulf of Mexico Oil Rig Explosion This first entry is a recent event that happened a few days ago. A massive explosion in the Caspian Sea lit up the sky on the 4th of July, producing a fireball that authorities say likely came from a mud volcano. The explosion took place off the coast of Azerbaijan, not far from the country's extensive offshore oil and gas fields, according to Azerbaijani news agency APA. There have been no injuries and no damage to the oil and gas works, APA reported. The explosion was around six miles from the oil and gas rigs, citing Azerbaijan's state oil company, SOCAR. A similar explosion happened 11 years ago. The explosion and subsequent fire resulted in the sinking of the deep water horizon and the deaths of 11 workers. 17 others were also injured. 9. Alexander L. Kyland A semi-submersible platform, Alexander L. Kyland gave accommodation to 212 workers on the evening of the 27th of March 1980. A bridge linked the Flotel to the Ida 27C drilling platform, extracting on the Ecofisk field in the middle of the North Sea. Rain pounded the platform on the day of the incident, with strong winds creating waves up to 12 meters high. Shortly before 6.30 pm, five of the platform's cables securing the platform to the sea floor snapped. One of the platform's five legs broke away, leaving it off balance by 30 degrees and at risk of capsizing. Evacuations immediately began, but several lifeboats failed to launch because of their design. 89 people survived, but 123 workers died when the floating hotel capsized. The event still marks the worst industrial accident in Norway's history. 8. The Ocean Ranger Disaster On the evening of February 14, 1982, Ocean Ranger and nearby vessels were hit by a rogue wave. The oil platform was heard over the radio describing how a porthole window was broken, allowing water to enter the ballast control room. The vessel was getting hit by waves 65 feet or higher, while the porthole window was only at 28 feet. After midnight, Ocean Ranger reported they were listing 10 to 15 degrees. At around 1 am, local authorities and mobile helicopters were alerted to the situation. All nearby vessels were asked to assist the platform, which was still leaning 10 degrees to the left. The Ocean Ranger transmitted a final message that they were abandoning ship. All 84 of the crew, including 46 mobile employees and 38 contractors, were killed. 7. Glomar Java Sea Drill Ship Disaster The Glomar Java drilled for Arco in the Gulf of Mexico between 1975 and 1981, operating off the coast of California for some time before its arrival in the South China Sea in January 1983. As Tropical Storm Lex approached the drilling site from the east, operations ceased. Global Marine's office in Texas reported that the drill ship experienced winds of up to 140 km per hour over the bow, before contact was abruptly lost. The wrecked drill ship was found floating upside down, 16,000 feet southwest of the drilling site. There were 81 casualties when the drill ship capsized and sank approximately 63 nautical miles southwest of Hainian Island, China. Of the 81 crew, only 36 bodies were recovered. 6. Bohai 2 Oil Rig Disaster This disaster caused the death of 72 out of 76 people on board the Bohai 2 Jackup rig when it capsized. As the towing ship moved the rig, a storm set in. Fierce winds broke the ventilator pump of the platform, causing a puncture hole in the deck and extensive flooding. The resulting loss of stability, coupled with severe weather conditions, eventually led to the jack-up cap sizing. The accompanying towboat could not rescue the crew members, who did not have proper training in emergency evacuation procedures and the use of life-saving equipment. It was also reported that standard tow procedures for bad weather conditions were not followed, possibly because operating instructions for the Japanese-made rig were not translated into Chinese until after the incident. 
5. Enchova Central Platform Disaster When a fire broke out and explosions started on the Enchova Central Platform in 1984, crews reacted quickly and moved to evacuate. Fires began after drill pressure controls failed to contain their compressed oil reserves, known as a blowout. Lifeboats and helicopters evacuated most of the platform's workers. One lifeboat's bow hook lowering mechanism malfunctioned during the evacuation, leaving it hanging vertically. Eventually, the boat's supporting cable snapped and it fell 20 meters into the sea, killing 36 people. Another six workers died after attempting to escape by jumping from the platform into the sea. 4. Mumbai High North Disaster On the 27th of July 2005, 22 people died in the Mumbai High North Rig Disaster in the Arabian Sea, around 160 kilometers west of Mumbai. The rig caught fire after a collision with the multi-purpose support vessel Samudra Suraksha. Strong ocean swells pushed the vessel towards the platform. When the vessel's stern hit the rig, it ruptured one or more of the platform's gas export risers. The resultant gas leakage ignited, burning the rig and damaging the vessel as well as the noble Charlie Yester Jacob rig that drilled nearby. 3. Usuma Sinta Jacob Disaster A collision between a rig and a platform caused the deaths of 22 workers on the 23rd of October 2007 in the Bay of Campeche, Gulf of Mexico. A storm developed, bringing winds of 130 km per hour and waves as high as 8 meters hit the rig's location. The rig's anchor points were not fully secured, so the rig soon broke free and began oscillating with the seas. The resulting oil and gas leakage led to the closure of safety valves on two production wells at the platform. However, crew members could not seal the valves completely. Soon after, one of the lifeboats began filling with water, eventually capsizing. A large wave overturned the other lifeboat, which reached the shore upside down the next day, with 12 survivors on top. During evacuation, 21 people died. One worker also went missing in the rescue operation. 2. C.P. Baker Drilling Barge Disaster On the morning of the 30th of June 1964, the two 260-foot-long hulls suffered a blowout. Water gushed into the vessel through open doors on the main deck, and the barge lost electricity soon thereafter. The entire barge was engulfed with fire and explosions minutes later. Only 22 out of the total 43 crew on board survived the disaster, most of whom saved their lives by jumping from the port bow. 1. Piper Alpha On the 6th of July 1988, explosions on the Piper Alpha oil platform in the British North Sea killed 167 people. This became the deadliest offshore oil rig accident in history. The Piper Alpha disaster began because of a gas leakage from one of the condensate pipes on the 6th of July 1988. Earlier that day, engineers removed the pressure safety valve of the corresponding injection pump as part of routine maintenance. The day crew used work permits to instruct the evening crew that the condensate injection pump should not be switched on under any circumstances. And that's all for today. If you like our content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for videos coming your way. Bye-bye.